Hey everybody! Welcome back this week. Thanks for joining us. We're gonna give everyone a second to log on. Sorry that we were running a little bit late. Life is crazy. <laughs> In a good way though, for sure. And we've been super busy all day making deliveries. It's been an awesome, awesome start. Hey, Kinsey. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so thanks for those of you that have purchased product, for those of you that joined us live last week. We were super, super stoked at the feedback that we've gotten and just how many people are showing up for us. So thank you. Absolutely. And we shared a post yesterday, and I don't know if you saw, but we're very excited. We have been working really hard, and we have come up with a lot of products that we are super proud of. The website looks absolutely different. Hey Mia. <laughs> You're hey. always logged on as me. That's my girl, man. That is so goofy. It's so funny to see yourself talking to yourself. Love you. <laughs> yeah, so like Jackie was saying, uh, super excited this week. Lots of new things coming in the very near future. We just released the massage oils. Um, there's a few different ones. I think, what are there, like eight all together? Seven? Anyway, so hey, we have a relaxing one. We have a sensual one for sexy time. Hey, song. <laughs> hey. We have a pain relief one. We have a pain relief with CBD. So that's awesome. For those of you that are in the industry, probably my personal favorite is we have like a circulation promoting varicose veins uh, massage oil. And then we have one of those also with CBD. So... That's good for uh, your tired legs, reducing inflammation. Um, it's awesome for circulation. Absolutely, and there's a lot of science just behind how important positive touch is. It doesn't matter if you're rubbing the ones you love, massage, physical touch is important, and even just on yourself. And that's what we love about the varicose vein one is it's all about self-love and taking care of yourself and unwinding after a hard day on your feet. We are also super excited because we have been working really hard. Probably the longest project we have is our Hippie Home Bible. And it is a collection of all of our favorite recipes. Um, God, Kinsey, you're great. All of our favorite recipes, mostly our cleaning supplies, because they are fantastic and save you so much money. And it is crazy when we see what is actually in our cleaning supplies and how dangerous they are. No one wants to get sick while cleaning, so we give you all of our favorite recipes so you can make them yourself, and we even throw in a bunch of our favorite bonus hygiene recipes like our bath bombs and our lotion bars and really cool things like that. Mm -hmm. And so it's just a downloadable PDF copy from our website, and it's great. It's all of our faves. Hey, best friend. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yeah, uh, we have a couple other things that we're super excited about. Our personal favorite we touched on last week is the... Um, the Foxy, the anti-aging serum. I have been literally living off of our solid and zone CBDs with the pain relief. Um, exciting this last week, we uh, introduced our care packages. We already sold a few of those and people have given us like awesome feedback on that. And it's just like super exciting to do something that you're proud of and just to hear people really love our product because these are awesome quality things and we put a lot of work in this. So, hey. One of our favorite aspects of our website too is we have lots of different types of customers. A lot of our customers are already making all natural products themselves. A lot of our customers want to get into making them themselves and we have a lot of customers that are busy and they just want to buy it pre-made. And so as we're showing you each one of these DIY kit tutorials we're doing, we then go up and we put it online where you can either choose to purchase the product pre-made, you can buy a DIY kit, and you can buy a refill kit once you need to make it again the next month. And so we're really proud just to be able to find a way to streamline kind of good safe cleaning supplies to all of you. Hey baby, thank you so much mommy. My girl's my biggest fan. <laughs> so today we are going to go over our liquid dish soap and we thought just as a bonus we were going to throw in our rinse aid. The reason we want to throw in our rinse aid is mostly because if you go to the grocery store, Jet Dry is surprisingly expensive and you're going to pay even more to get it all natural. And if you find out what you need to actually keep your dishes spotless, You'll never want to waste that money again. And so we're just going to give that to you here as a treat and we'll also put a DIY kit up on the website. And so the first thing we're going to do is our liquid dish soap. 
Kathy's gonna talk to you one second. I'm gonna go get some warm water because the first step we have is we need to dissolve our kosher salt into the warm water. So just one second. Hey Taylor. Hey Tay. You guys, I'm literally sitting on my hands right now. Uh, we were making deliveries earlier today and I had a customer tell me that my nails were offensive. Huh? They need to be done badly. So Taylor borrowed me that fix your nails loot and I am gonna do that after we log off here tonight. But my goal was to get it done before we did this so that I wouldn't be so ashamed and I wouldn't have to hide my hands, but here I am sitting on my hands to make sure that I don't show you all the wreck that I am. <laughs> so it looks like Jackie's just finishing up with that water. Honestly, you guys, I love this dish soap. It is better than Dawn. It is safer. It works just as good. I say better. Uh, it'll leave your hands soft. It's not harsh. Um, and well, and one of the things um, I, we actually wrote about a blog about this, but Dawn are a little bit frauds because they get a D when it comes to the um, environmental safety ratings and the effectiveness and everything like that. And we kind of is it's the product known that we use on the ducks, and so it's really actually not the best when you get down to it. So we're starting with a half a cup of warm water. And we're just going to dissolve two teaspoons of kosher salt. We're doing that in our small bowl into the water. Kathy's holding it up so y'all can see. A little bit. Doo -doo. As best as you can with the space we're working with. Water so and kosher salt. We're gonna put the kosher salt in there and we're going to stir it up until it is all dissolved. I can do that while you start getting It does getting not things. take us too long there. Salt and warm water, it's not science. And then in a larger bowl, we are going to take one half of a cup of Dr. Bronner Salsud. And when we talk about that safety rating, Dr. Bronner's gets an A. So that's actually very fantastic. We're gonna do a half a cup of the Salsuds. And um, I'll show you guys later, but the way this stuff suds up is fantastic and I do not like to soak dish or to scrub dishes whatsoever. I will soak a dish overnight and then re-soak it the next day if I have to, just to avoid having to scrub that dish. And what's fantastic about this is it doesn't matter if it is greasy meatloaf, it is completely ready to just rinse clean after like 10 minutes of soaking, it's fantastic. All right, so we're gonna add a half a cup of vinegar Taylor's been super awesome to me keeping my cats during this quarantine and so she was over the other day and I gave her one of our extra jars of this liquid dish soap and she immediately told me that after the first time that she used it, that she loved it. Hey Carter! <laughs> That's my biggest fan. All right, and so then we are going to add a teaspoon of citric acid to our liquid mix in our big bowl here. So we're gonna add a teaspoon of citric acid and one teaspoon of just lemon juice. It is degreasing as well as disinfecting. So we're gonna add the lemon juice and then we are going to add our essential oils. We're gonna do 10 top drops of tea tree, which is the disinfectant. Tea tree is great for a lot of things. Honestly, people use this in skincare products. It would be great in a cleanser for oily skin. Um, it actually has moisturizing benefits too. Helps with headaches. Mm. Okay, and then we're gonna do 10 drops of lavender. One. Thanks, Taylor. Yeah, stay safe, everyone, please. I think everyone has been, and it's so good to hear. It's so good to hear that those at least near and dear to us have been staying safe, so. Absolutely, and so now that we have mixed everything together and the kosher salt has been completely dissolved in the water, we're just going to slowly stir them together. And what's cool about it is when you stir it in, right away you can kind of see those ingredients working together and it fogs up and it also thickens a little bit. And it's really cool to watch that process go. Something to keep in mind too when you're using any sort of all natural products, um, you know, it might not suds as much as a Dawn or something like that, but that is fake. 
and it might not, uh, sometimes it separates, not our dish soap so much, but uh, hand soaps and other things can, and you might have to give it a little shake before you use it, but that's because there's no fillers in it, and fillers are what keeps things kind of together and looking pretty, and they're not necessary, and honestly, they're toxic, so. Well, when you think about nature, different elements want to separate and so with all all natural products even our dish soap all I do when I start is I give it one little shake and I'm good to go um it just it is a little bit thinner because it doesn't need to be thicker we don't add any thickeners okay and so if you get the DIY kit it comes with this nice um sustainable glass packaging little pump a pump and you just want to use a funnel and pour the dish soap in and what's fantastic about this is not only does it smell amazing the lavender in there is very very healing on your skin so it is going to help you not get the dry cracked hands in the winter from doing all those dishes. Okay, Kathy's just helping me. You can put a little bottle, a little bit of water just in this bowl with the stuff in it and you can give them a sample of what the bubbles are like there. All right. Absolutely, one second. Yeah, this stuff is awesome. You don't need very much. I think that can be um, a little bit deceiving. We always wanna do like multiple pumps. You honestly, you really won't need it. Here you go, Jack. Okay, got a and I don't know there. if you can see. It just suds right up. This stuff is fantastic, fantastic. And I'm actually gonna save this bowl and use it to wash my dishes because this soap is absolutely amazing. And we actually use this too. A lot of you may have heard, we've mentioned it quite a few times, but we do like to keep giving you ideas on how to use the products in different ways and reuse the products and you know really simplify your life. But we use this to clean our makeup brushes. I know a lot of us need to do that more often than we should, and it's uh, it's nice to not have to think about it. I don't need to make a special trip to Sephora just to clean my makeup brushes. I can use the same stuff that I used to clean my dishes because it's safe and it's natural. It's even okay for my skin. So, all right, so we're moving on to rinse aid. Just need a little like one and a half cup. We use a mason jar, that's what we keep ours in. Absolutely, and why we want to give you guys this recipe is because if you go to the store and to get a bottle of Jet Dry, you're lucky if you're going to spend $9.99. It's probably more than that, and chances are it's not all natural um, for the good stuff. And this stuff is amazing, and you should never pay that much. All we're going to do is fill the mason jar. Like Kathy said, it is um, a cup and a half. We're gonna fill that up with vinegar. And you know, you guys, even if you didn't make these one time and you decide to never do it again, you could reuse your beautiful glass bottle, put it on a counter, put your favorite lotion in it. It's better than your little suave bottle that's sitting out on your counter already. Same with the little mason jar. Uh, when we send liquids <laughs> and essential oils, yeah, Carter. we send those in a little essential oil bottle and we give you the roller ball. You could literally put something as easy as like coconut oil or sweet almond oil in there and use it just to moisturize your skin. It's not hard and these would be awesome, really simple ways for you to start at home and just to reuse things even if you decide that that's not the path you wanna take. Cause I know a lot of us are just like curious about what it would be to do these things for ourselves. And for some of you it'll be worth it. And for others you might want not wanna invest the time. We actually had a customer, it was so cute and we love when people send us the creative things they do with their packaging um, once they're done with the product inside and she made, she liked loved our logo and sticker and so she made a candle inside of it and it was really cute and creative. Okay, so we have the vinegar in our small mason jar and we're just gonna add five drops of orange essential oil. And the vinegar is gonna help the dishes dry quickly and the water evaporate. And so um, you're not gonna have any spots left behind. And that's what the citrus helps with as well. And not to mention it smells fantastic. And so that is literally all it takes to make your own all natural rinse aid. And you're just gonna put one teaspoon into the little jet dry compartment into your dishwasher. Mm -hmm. And it all pairs great with the dishwasher tabs that we showed you how to make last week. And it's not science, you guys. Honestly, like we often, you'll drip an extra oil here. You'll maybe not put enough there. Like it's not all science and um, 
you know, just to know that this is easy to do for yourselves. And the um, we've had some failures, but to be honest with you, we've had way more successes in the things that we try to do for ourselves. And once we land on something that's perfect, we've shared the recipe with you in the Hippie Home Bible. And uh, yeah, so thanks for joining us today. We have uh, partnered with uh, Minnesota Struggle No More, and we had a couple people that had gotten some kits through that program that'll be watching this video and making their own uh, liquid dish soap at home. So that's kind of a cool opportunity that we've had to like give back, enrich our lives. Part of our passion and why we started all of this is not only because we realized how very unaware we were of what were in our products and what we were putting in our environment, in our children and everything like that, but also how cheap it can be. And so that's why we're not giving up on sharing the recipes. And that's why we always want to encourage everyone, if you have the time or the desire or are looking for a fun hobby, because honestly, we have a great time with this, it really can save you a lot of money on the way. And no one wants to waste money on doing dishes. Yeah, lots of new things too coming up. You know, keep checking back on us, stalk us, if you will. Um, we are releasing in the very near future a Mother's Day care package. So for those of you that have not even thought about sending your uh, something to your mother, what are we? How many days away are we now? Is it thirteen or twelve? days till Mother's Day. So I uh, check back with us. Um, I think as soon as tomorrow, and we'll have that up for sale, and then. Uh, Right after that, we'll be following it up with a Father's Day package, a summer package. Um, we're gonna keep those uh, pain relief packages going. I think that there's uh, quite a few people, if not everyone, lives in some sort of level of chronic pain. So uh, we see that one as a necessary one going <laughs> forward. It may be a wrong choice of words, Carter. Maybe not stock. <laughs> that could be scary, right? Oh man, thank you, Mia. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us live tonight. And like Kathy said, absolutely follow along this week because we have some more big things coming. And we really just are excited to kind of keep getting our product out there to you guys and share this fantastic pain relief. We love hearing from everyone how they are now not in pain. And we just want to share that with you all. Thanks. Watch us again. We'll see you next week. Our focus for May is moms. Bye, everybody.